gentlemen, the YouTube citizens, y'all know what time it is. It's another Black Ops 3 commentary video as the beta finally ended for the Xbox One and basically for everything. Uh, and also PC, that's why it was for PC as well. And now we're just waiting for the game to come out up in November. And I got a lot of gameplay, by the way. So, anywho, this is your boy, Dash the True and Fun Up. <laughs> And speaking of things that are coming out, let me give y'all two things real quick. The first one is you're listening to it right now. That's that Gaku de Okurewa, which translates to late for school, is out now. So you can so you can wait uh, to go to the end of the video to click on the box on the top left corner to listen to it at its entirety. The album, the Kyoto Abaye 3, Rising Sun, comes out November the 13th, which is a Friday. That album will be two bucks. And you can only pick that joint up on trueinfront.bandcamp.com. That is the place to be to pick up that and every other beat album I have came out with. Now, the second thing that is coming out is the main thing I want to talk about, and that is college football. Yes. So tomorrow night, the big debut. And right now, I'm going to give you all my predictions as far as the really the more important conferences, the four teams that I think will make the playoffs, and the two teams that make the finals and win it all. If there's enough time, I'll probably give you all my overrated, underrated teams for ranking the top 25. So let's get things popping with the ACC. So starting with the Atlantic, uh, there's a few people that really like in Clemson this year. I don't see enough of them, especially since they lost a lot of defense. I'm going with Florida State to win the Atlanta Division. And the Coastal Division is all Georgia Tech. Virginia Tech will try to make it interesting. And don't sleep on North Carolina and Duke. And, um, yeah, but I think Georgia Tech will win the Coastal. And overall, I got Georgia Tech winning the ACC this year. Moving on, we're going to uh, pass the Mac and move on from the ACC to the AAC, the American Athletic Conference. And then I got Cincinnati. I got Cincinnati winning the East. Uh, Memphis. No, I, I, and this is, yeah, I'm going to go with Memphis. Memphis win the rest. It's between them and Navy. Maybe Tulane, possibly Houston. But I, I'm going to roll with uh, Memphis to win the rest. And overall, I got Cincinnati knocking off Memphis. Now, moving on to the Mountain Rest. This is Boise State all day. Boise State wins the Mountain Division. And as far as the rest, uh, I'm going to go with Nevada. I'm going to go with Nevada to win the rest. And it don't matter who win the rest between them or San Diego State. Because Boise State is going to murder whoever it is they emerge from the rest division moving on now to a conference that is near and dear to my heart and that is the big 10 now as we all know the defending national champions that crappy team known as ohio state reside in that division in that conference rather and of course my boys michigan is in that conference so are michigan state nah, and a list of others and for the east the east could potentially be loaded uh, with workers, Michigan, Penn State, Michigan State, Ohio State, all over there. Uh, it's going to be a tough one, but unfortunately, I got Ohio State winning the East over Michigan State. Um, I got Michigan. I think they're going to finish third. Um, with Jim Harbaugh, their first year head coach, I got them finishing third ahead of Penn State. Moving on to the rest. And really, I mean, with the success of maybe Iowa, there's nobody there with the success of Wisconsin, Nebraska, Minnesota. Surprisingly, Minnesota. But I'm going to go with Wisconsin. I think Wisconsin wins the rest. Setting up a conference championship showdown from last year when Ohio State killed Wisconsin. And Ohio State going to win again. Now, for it, let's move on to the Pac-12. Pac-12 looks like this. Uh, on the north, it's really Oregon. There's nobody else there with the exception of Stanford. But, no, it's all about Oregon on that side. On the North Division. The South Division is a different story. You got Utah, Arizona, USC, Arizona State, UCLA. I'm going to roll with Arizona State. I think Arizona State will win that uh, division, rather. And between the two, uh, Arizona State and Oregon, I'm going to go with Oregon. I think it's going to be a close matchup. But I got Oregon over uh, Arizona State to win the Pac-12. Moving on to the Big Tip 12. This is going to be another close one. It's really going to come down to TCU and Baylor. Now, I'm looking at some of these websites as far as, you know, their predictions, things of that nature. And I'm seeing West Virginia in the mix ahead of Oklahoma and Texas, which is really hard to believe. It, it really is. And I'm looking at West Virginia, and I'm looking like, how? <laughs> like, how can they be in the mix? I, I don't see that happening. 
Uh, one refs I say they will be in the mix. The other refs I say not so much. So I'm going to go with that one. Meanwhile, it's really going to come down between TCU and Baylor. And between the two, I'm going to run with TCU. I think TCU will um emerge over Baylor this year. There will be no co-champions. It will just be one champion that will beat um, TCU. Moving on to the SEC. And this is going to be very interesting this year. In the East, it's really going to come down to Georgia, Missouri, and Tennessee. But I'm going to run with Georgia. Even though Georgia, in my opinion, is overrated in that uh, the top 10 polls, I think they should be out of the top 10. But they're still good enough to win the uh, SEC East. SEC West is going to be loaded. Again, you got Alabama. Blah. You got Mississippi, Texas A&M, uh, LSU, Arkansas, and Auburn. So it's going to be very interesting. And, of course, in Mississippi State as well. I'm going to roll with Auburn over Alabama. Yes, I think it's time for a change in the SEC. So I got Auburn over Alabama. In the SEC Conference Championship game, I got Auburn over Georgia to win that conference. Now, moving on, we're going to pass Conference USA because they're unimportant. Some belt, they're unimportant. Now, the independence is really Notre Dame, Birmingham, uh, BYU, rather, and Army. And unfortunately, it's all about Notre Dame. Um, I got Notre Dame going nine and three this year. Don't expect them to get in the playoff or anything like that. You know. So yeah, there you go. Now, I got some time left. So let me look at the top twenty-five. Let me give you all the top twenty-five teams as far as rankings going into this year. Now you got the coaches poll and the AP poll. Um, we're gonna go with the AP poll. So Ohio State's number one. TCU number two, Alabama number three, Baylor number four. That's in both polls, by the way. Now, here's where things change. Michigan State number five in the AP poll. Auburn's number six. Oregon number seven. USC's number eight. Georgia's number nine, excuse me. And Florida State number 10. In the uh, coaches poll, Oregon's number five. Michigan State's number six. Auburn's number seven. Florida State's number eight. Georgia's number nine. And USC's number 10. There you go. And, I mean, there's other teams that are in there in both uh, rankings by the looks of it. You know, you got uh, the likes of Notre Dame, Clemson, who are 11, 12 in both um, polls. US, UCLA, LSU, Arizona State, Georgia Tech, Ole Miss, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Wisconsin, Stanford, Arizona, Boise State, Missouri, and Tennessee. And it's like, I mean, in all 25 of those teams are in both polls, so I ain't going to really say, oh, there's a difference, anything like that, blah, blah, blah. Now, as far as who gets in the playoff, uh, Ohio State number one, even though I see them losing, they could potentially lose one game, and that's uh, tomorrow night against Virginia Tech. Remember, last year, Ohio State was at home, and they lost to Virginia Tech. And the majority of those starters that Virginia Tech had last year are coming back. Ohio State this year would be playing on the road against Virginia Tech. And four of their key players, right, four of their players are suspended for that game. And I think two of them are key defensive players. So that's going to hurt Ohio State right there. I could potentially see them losing that game. And that would be the only game I see them losing. And then they go on through the Big Ten um, Conference. They play Michigan State at home, which would be their only tough um, matchup outside of uh, Virginia Tech. And Michigan State going to bring back all their starters. And, of course, they got that top-notch defense. But I think Ohio State, unfortunately, despite potentially losing that first game, wins out, wins their conference, and somehow gets into the playoffs as number one because that loss would be early in the year and then they went out. TCU, on the other hand, despite being number two, I see them getting in as well. Uh, with TCU, I see them losing, I think it was one game, if memory serves me right, and it's not against Baylor. It wasn't against Baylor. If memory serves me correctly, it was against, I want to say, Oklahoma. That's right. And that came later in the year because they got to go on the road to play against Oklahoma. And then, of course, they end the year against Baylor. But despite that, I still see them getting in um, because Oklahoma would probably be highly ranked. Who knows? But I see TCU getting in. I see Auburn getting in at number three. And then it's going to be a mix-up between Michigan State and Oregon. Uh, I see Michigan State beating Oregon at home early in the year. And Oregon wins the Pac-12. 
Michigan State only have one loss, and that's to Ohio State. But the problem is, do you favor Oregon, who won their conference, whereas Michigan State does not? Or do you favor Michigan State, who beat Oregon? And I think they go over with Michigan State. So my four teams are Ohio State, uh, T, uh, TCU. I probably go put Auburn number two. TCU number three, then Michigan State. And then uh, I see Michigan State because this is on a neutral field this time and not at uh, Columbus. Michigan State beats Ohio to go to the final. TCU beats Auburn in the final. TCU knocks off Michigan State to win the national championship. So that's my college football picks. Next week, we're going to get to the big one, the really big one, the NFL, my NFL picks, because that season starts next Thursday. So as you can clearly see, the game is over, and despite us losing because we were outnumbered, I dominated for my squad. Uh, shout out to Piccolo. He was there with me as well. But yeah, man, this is Jim Ryder, second AKA, the new Jake Gatsby, saying peace out, y'all. See y'all next time. Yeah.